in our heads, it's, it's, there's like a, a big world of small motions out there. We're excited to explore it and, and look at the world with this new microscope that lets us visualize the very small changes and, and reveal them. And it actually turns out to show us all sorts of exciting things about the world. Uh, we're at MIT. This lab does all sorts of things, but what we're doing here is, is uh, a particular project uh, at the intersection of vision and graphics that we call motion magnification. The initial idea was to have this tool that can uh, show us how things move in a way that we cannot see in normal, normal ordinary videos. The algorithm itself is actually pretty simple. This is a picture of Steve. We took this into our, our algorithm and it, it, it looks at each color and makes a spatial average of the color to very accurately measure what the color intensity is at every point. From that accurate measurement, you can detect small variations with the pulse signal. So we, we measure those, we amplify them, and then add them back into the video to create a color magnified video, if you were, of Steve. So now you can see all sorts of things. You can see how fast his heart's beating. You can also see a spatial pattern of when the blood goes where uh, on his face. And we're hoping that this will be uh, a useful diagnostic for, for medical doctors. Maybe if we took a photo of Steve without his shirt on, we could look for asymmetries in when the blood flowed where on his body, and perhaps that will be diagnostic of disease. So with neonatal infants, uh, you want to monitor their vital signs, but you want to touch them as little as possible, I'm told. And so we wanted to explore using this video method to monitor their their pulse. So here's an example of the raw video. This is without any amplification. And now you can see uh, that lets us extract the pulse. And we can do that as accurately as, as the uh, conventional methods that have to touch the baby. So to verify that what we're measuring really is the pulse, we, we compared our measurement with an EKG that was attached to the baby at the same time. And they agree. So the videos we've been showing you are ones that we took, but you can also go and apply this method to other videos as well. So we took the, uh, a clip from the Batman video with Christian Bale. This is now processed with our method. You can see that he has a pulse and he's uh, even under the makeup, presumably, uh, you can see his pulse as, uh, as he wakes up. What's really new about this research is that we're visualizing the tiny motions. The computer vision community has been able to measure these tiny motions for some time, but, but there's nothing to see unless you amplify and show what's there. Once we amplify it and show what's there, there's like a whole new world, all sorts of things you can look at. Oftentimes parents of, of newborn infants wonder, is the baby breathing? And with this method you can exaggerate the motions and show very clearly that the baby is breathing. So here's the original video. It's a little bit hard to tell if, if, it, if she's breathing or not, uh, but in our motion amplified version it's, it's obvious. So we've just started with these techniques. We've just really begun exploring them. And so we've posted the code online. We posted it in August. And people can download it, uh, look at the source code, use it for non-commercial purposes. And uh, we think this is just going to explode, that there'll be all sorts of uh, uses for these, this technique.